how to hypnotize yourself not to drink. I'm here with a real life hypnotist in Stockholm, Sweden, Eric Olkiewicz. Uh, first of all, before we explain how to hypnotize yourself not to drink alcohol, what do you do as a hypnotist? Well, uh, as a hypnotist, I hypnotize people up on stage. You know, I, I meet people, you know, it's mostly corporate crowds, and I, you know, invite people up on stage and I hypnotize them. Uh, to do you know fun things like uh, hypnotize them not to find their mouth when they want to drink water. That's really? a good one. Yeah. So what? So you get them up on stage yeah. and they and then you, you you put them into a trance yes. I'm assuming and then you give them a glass of water and say drink the water and they're putting the glass to the they're side like, of their face. Yeah, doodling, this is what it looks like. <laughs> And, you know, I've, I've had people you know, pour it on their head. Really? Was, yeah, the last show, the guy poured it on the head. That would be This good is if... a great thing for alcohol. <laughs> yeah. This is how you stop yourself drinking. Hypno can you hypnotize the viewer now? Or oh, you yeah. have to do it in person? Stop drinking! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, we're in Stockholm, Sweden here. What's the name of this square? This is uh, Norman's Torrey. This is the city center of Sweden. Uh, oh. That's how Stockholm I am. This is the city center of Stockholm. What's that's the hotel I'm staying in there, yeah. the, the Nobis Hotel. Yeah. Alright, so how do we hypnotize ourselves? Not realist not not where we're like doing this thing, but how do we, you know, create this vision in our mind, if you like, to not drink alcohol on an ongoing basis? Yeah. How do we do it? Number one is actually that you you're doing this for a reason. And when you're at the bar, I want you to do some kind of visual, visualization that Imagine that you're at a crossroad and you have this the decisive moment right now uh -huh. to either you know order a drink or you can order water. But I want you to just extend that time frame. Imagine that there has been 10 years. You're at the same bar and it has been 10 years. And imagine now that you have been you know, drinking alcohol habitually for 10 years. Mm -hmm. now. Let's say that you're 30 right now or 40. Imagine 10 years, which means that you're, it's in the year 2025. 25. Me and Matt. Or 26, 26, depending on when you're watching this, yeah? Yeah. And um, imagine that you're at this bar and you've been drinking alcohol. Just imagine what will your skin look like? Have you, if you've seen people have, who are drinking, <laughs> Is they're all like red and mushy and everything, you know, they're not attractive at all. You right. Know, you, know, all that you can fat. see it, they are weathered in oh, the yeah. face. Oh, yeah. You know, you don't want to be one of those, but imagine that you are. Imagine that you are. And then imagine, you know, that belly, the belly, ooh. Yeah. Um, you don't, you know, you're standing there with that belly. Imagine what your relationships will be like if you have been just, you know, talking to people, but when you're drunk. And when you're drunk, you're not really yourself. So, you know, you maybe curse at your boss or you have this dispute with your partner, your male partner, female partner. Right. And um, so we're painting a picture that's pretty dark and bleak, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and also your libido. Libido. This libido. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll do the, the, the American <laughs> slash Australian uh, pronunciation of the libido. Libido. <laughs> libido. Go on, let's spin around here. Yeah. Um, okay. So what, what, what you're essentially saying then is... Uh, if you continue on this path that you're on right now, maybe you're maybe you just you're having a, a one drink a night every night of the week, and you don't think that's a big deal. But is it not a big deal? Because maybe it is. Because maybe that's affecting your sleep, and maybe that's affecting your skin, and maybe that's affecting your productivity, and maybe that's affecting your relationships. Yeah. And if you stay on this path that you have been on, where are you going to be in ten years? Well, you're going to be. In a lot worse situation mm -hmm. than you are now. Maybe you don't even think you're in a bad situation. You think, oh, it's okay. But maybe, just maybe, it's costing you money. It's costing you your health. It's costing you time, relationships. There's a cop opportunity cost for this drink that you're having. So what you seem to be saying is, is that, like, visualize ten years in the future if you carry on and continue with this path. Yeah, but this is the this is the secret. This is what makes it all powerful. Uh -huh. Imagine. You know, let's say I'm in your head and I'm hypnotizing you right now. I wouldn't say that I'm hypnotizing you right now, but let's just say I'm hypnotizing you right okay. now. And uh, I want you to imagine also the future. What if, you know, it's the year 2025 uh, or 26 yeah. and you're at the bar and you're drinking water because drinking water is something that you do. This is drinking water is something that you enjoy. You really like this. And imagine what your these 10 years have been like, you know, Maybe you got promoted because you have more energy, your right. finances are great because you know you have energy to do what you want to do. 
Uh, and imagine the relationships when you're showing your true personality, you know, the, the person that you are, you know, deep inside, because yes. you can express yourself. And imagine that, you know, what your skin will look like. You know, if you've seen people like this guy, maybe this guy. <laughs> Let's go are, inside here. Yeah. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Imagine, you know, what people who don't drink, what they look like. Their skin, you know, is very soft. Yeah, well, they look, they're healthier, they're, they're, yeah. they're, uh, they've got more energy, mm -hmm. they look better. Women in particular, don't they? They, oh. they, they age a lot oh when, my God, yeah. when, with alcohol use. And, and they're very, um, women in particular, are very uh, conscious of the crow's feet that you get around, yeah. around your feet. The guys are as well, but, but to a lesser degree than, than women, obviously. Society puts a lot of pressure on women to look good. Yeah. Um, so, if you don't drink, and if you're imagining this future where you're healthy and you're feeling great, and you're not drinking, you're not putting poison into you, maybe yeah. you're looking younger, maybe you look like you're supposed to look like, you're not, yeah. having, to, you're not having to like put all this stuff on your face to try no. and look better. So, we're essentially looking at two different scenarios, right? We're just yeah. here in the foyer of the Novus Hotel here. Um, okay, cool. So, so, to hypnotize yourself, you look at two scenarios. The first is, what happens if you stay on this path? Your life is not, you know, maybe in 10 years now, what's it, what's it costing you to have that nightly drink yeah. right now? And then the other scenario is, what do you get if you stop drinking or you seriously reduce your drinking from this point? Yeah. Is that right? That's right. Okay. And also, this is something that you can do at the bar, you know, instantaneously when you're standing there in the bar and you're like to say, well, who do I want to be in 10 years yeah. from now? The other one is that you can, you know, do this just, sitting down you know relaxing and hypnotizing yourself maybe before going to sleep you know at a normal night you just close your eyes and you visualize these parts okay all right hypnotist eric okovich where do we find you online eric well if you're you know if you're in sweden it's very simple you just go on on hypnosco.se what is it hypnos show hypnos show i'll put a link down below yeah um uh, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to this channel right now and share this with someone who you think could benefit from mm. this, uh, this right now. Hit the subscribe button. And thanks Eric, I appreciate yeah, that buddy, it's it was awesome. Yeah? And from Stockholm, Sweden, I'll catch you on the next one.